Hello and welcome to Pandorum's tutorial video to Temple of Temerity. Um, we're gonna show you how to do one of the dungeons that you get the uh, advanced glyphs in, uh, which are very useful to any class out there. As you see, I'm playing my Lancer as normal, so you will only get to see the, the third uh, BAM fight and from the Lancer's uh, perspective. Later on I will add uh, the second and first bad fight from my warrior side. Uh, so we're gonna start the video, uh, start the dungeon right now here. Um, what we do now is defend this crystal in the middle from the skeletons coming from this hallway. They're gonna be coming in pairs of threes. And we want our sorcerer to put ice in the in the hallway, and our archer to put stun traps and boom bomb traps here as well. Uh, so here we go. As you see, we are easily making short work of these mobs here, uh, since we are very overgeared for this. Thing. And uh, we're gonna use charms at 21 kills. And as you can see, we have a kill count over there as well. And we want Chin to put some of his uh, stun and bomb traps about here. Where I am right now, and uh, for Kusano to use his uh, hailstorm here as well. Um, the setup we're gonna use is Kusano, the sorcerer, will go to kill the first ban. Uh, it's not well, what you normally use, you either not use a warrior or a slayer on the first ban, or maybe a berserker. But since we only have one warrior with us and we're gonna use him on the second ban, uh, this is how we choose to do it. And as you can see, we have some some Chin Mai noob writing in the in the chat here. We are up to 18 kills now and waiting for the the final wave of skeletons before we ignore everything and go and char. I repeat, at 21 kills you ignore everything and just go charm quickly. Okay, let's gather up on me and we charm. Stacy, come over here fast. And as always, we're using power, enduring, and infused for the charms. Okay, there we have the first stage of the dungeon. Now we swap hallway and go over here and we defend from this side while Kusano runs in to do the first bam. And all we do now is basically we protect the crystal from the mobs. They are coming from both the hallway and spawning from behind. Uh, 
Um, and what we want Kusano to do is uh, Kusano to do is to kill the Bam while we defend out here. And I want Kobe to go and kill the small ones by the crystal over there. Um, while defending, hunters, uh, Hunter uh, Crystals is pretty good to use since these are normal mobs, so you would get some extra damage out of them. Uh, don't forget to swap to the actual boss damage crystals when you go in though. And as you can see here, Kusano is back and he's done the job in there perfectly. Uh, to point out is that when you solo a BAM you will probably not be able to spend too much time behind it. So using a full mutinous uh, crystal setup is to be advised. And now we are awaiting the, the spawn of the second BAM and while we do that we just protect the crystals. For the second BAM we're gonna use Kobe and Daisy. Kobe is the warrior and Daisy is the healer. And we're gonna do this setup because uh, the second BAM is probably the hardest BAM in this dungeon. But also we're using a healer on the second BAM because it's Kobe's first time on it. So we're giving him a bit of a practice session here. We are just slowly awaiting the, the spawn of the second map. It should be up soon. And as you can see here now, Daisy and Kobe is running in to kill the second BAM while we defend the crystal.
And as you can see, Daisy and Kobe cleared the second map really easily together. And now we are entering the uh, the barrel stage. There's gonna be spawning some explosive barrels around here. Just waiting for them. There we go. And we're gonna use the barrels to kill the mobs here. So no AOEs are needed really. We just wait for for the mobs to gather up around the crystals, and then we slap a barrel, and they all die. And we do this while me and uh, Chin Mai is just standing by the fire, getting our stamina up. Um, so what's gonna happen after this uh, wave here is that it's gonna be spawning some spike traps over here and a switch right here that uh, the players are gonna use to hold off some waves as well. And now the third bam is up so me and Chin Mai are gonna go in there and we're gonna kill him. And we are gonna use a potion right now. Uh, the potion counter affects the silence that you get in here, so we will have like three minutes to kill the bam. I'm gonna tank him so that uh, Chin are gonna be able to DPS him hard from behind. As you can see I'm doing this without a healer and it shouldn't really be done without the healer unless you're very very overgeared for this dungeon. And there we got the third bam down, and the dungeon is over. Uh, so we're gonna get run out here to the to the middle hall again and uh, look for, at the loots that we got. 
and uh, this is the video in its entirety. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you later.